hello friends hope you all of you are safe at home and we are starting here quick revision of our first unit of region of bgs i am professor sudarshan sarokhi from dr patil college of engineering we are starting with first unit that is introduction of region of bridges it consisting of a uh, brief history of bridges classification of bridges importance of bridges and components of bridges and the investigations required for bridges general introduction so what is a bridge a bridge is a structure which provides passage over an obstacle without closing the way beneath the obstacle may be a river a road or railway or valley it may be of anything and that passage required is for road railway pedestrians or canal or pipeline so this bridge structure is generally concerned with structural highway engineering it is also said as a bridge structure which covers a gap between two piers or an arrangement made to cross an obstacle in the form of river valley or another roadway or another railway then the bridge structure is mainly comprises of three parts number 1 superstructure number 2 bearing and substructure so that superstructure is consisting of the slabs rails parapets road and the bearing it is below that slab and above the piers which transfers the load to the substructure and the substructure is uh, it is uh, columns or foundations which transmits the load to the below data it may be uh, that uh, hard strata or any type of foundation so classification of bridges so mainly it is according to the form it may be classified as slab bridge beam bridge truss bridge arch bridge or cable stayed bridge it may be called as suspended bridge also similar way so you can observe here this is the beam bridge arch bridge truss bridge suspension bridge cantilever and cable stayed so main difference between suspension bridge and cable stay bridge you can observe here that suspension bridge is uh, suspended with cables on a big that is large cable there are suspension cables over here and this cable stayed bridge is directly connected to the pylon uh, placed in between and the cables from slab to pylon directly here this is the main difference between suspension and cable stayed bridge then according to material we can classified as timber bridge concrete bridge stone bridge rcc bridge steel bridge pcc bridge or composite bridge similar way as per inter span relationship we can classify it as simply supported cantilever bridge or continuous bridge according to length of bridge culvert bridge it is less than 6 meter length that span minor bridge span 6 to 60 meter major bridge having span 60 to 120 meter and long span bridge having spans more than 120 meter according to function aqueduct bridge that is canal over river viaduct that is road or railway over valley or river then pedestrian bridge that is pedestrian bridge is generally provided at bus stands or railway stations highway bridge railway bridge and road cum rail or pipeline bridge then importance of bridges so what is the importance it allows safe passage where it was previously not available then in some emergency situations it will be very much helpful for transport and it connects the different communities together it gives convenience of public transportation and ease for traffic and reduction of railroad crossing that is a flyover about the railway crossing like that so components of bridge so these are some basic components shown that is approach carriage way agar another approach then abutment at both the ends and piers in between 
so this is linear water vane bridge length you can observe then components of bridges in detail there are bridge bearings which support that is a support slab over a pier and which controls the movement or at the bridge supports including temperature changes temperature changes that is shrinkage or expansion of slab bridge pier a wide column or short wall of masonry or plain rcc for carrying loads is supported for bridge founded on firm ground bridge dampers and isolators that is to absorb energy generated by earthquake waves and lateral loads then bridge cap the highest part of bridge pier on which the bridge bearings or rollers are seated then bridge deck the load bearing roof floor of a bridge which carries and spreads the load to the main beams abutment the support of bridge which can which may carry a horizontal forces as well as weight and expansion joints these are provided to accommodate the translations due to possible shrinkage and expansions due to temperature changes then this is a typical rc bridge shown here you can observe it is mainly consisting of main girder cross girder here and uh, it is having span 16 meter so along the length the main girders are situated and cross girders uh, cross to that main so here you can observe these are the main girders and that 2500 span in between two main girders and these are cross girders and above that rc slab so this is an important figure from a well known book uh, this shows all the components of bridge structure to we'll start with this road level then you is the approach slab then uh, next to that is back wall and wing wall so back wall is vertical is straight and wing wall is uh, connected to that back wall then you can observe here abutment at the end then longitudinal girder from abutment to pier span that is between two supports and cross girder uh, resting on longitudinal girder then deck slab then curb over here and this expansion joint so it is provided between between each two supports here it is on these supports this single span this one is also single span provided with expansion joint at ends here at middle and at ends so another components are hand row hand rails parapets here is bearing shown supported slab then this will be the effective span between bearing to bearing then bed level this is pier and foundation foundation may be shallow or deep foundation and these are some uh, introductory that is uh, examples of uh, bridges this is steel bridge that is a suspension bridge then this is arch bridge a uh, prestressed bridge another one prestressed bridge which is on river ganga then cable stayed bridge at sikkim this is another vidya sagar setu at kolkata at another bridge at kolkata so this is a hybrid structure is just a, which is prestressed also and cable stayed similar type of bridge here and then these are investigations required for bridges you can refer rs51 2000 for this that selection of bridge site preparation of index plan preparation of site plan preparation of cross section and longitudinal section of river bed collection of hydraulic data calculation of design discharge and linear waterway fixation of approximate span of bridge subsoil exploration and determination of engineering properties of soil determination of bearing capacity of soil submission of report so data collection in data collection first is index map so index map which is locate the project area and which shows connectivity with nearby city of the state or major towns it is also consisting of a bird eye view it is uh, uh, of scale 1 is to 50000 or smaller scale 1 is to 2 lakh and 50000 then site plan the site plan should be suitably drawn and uh, it should be uh, having uh, area extending 
100 meter upstream and downstream to the crossing or if that river is meandering in the vicinity of that bridge so we should uh, cover more than two loops on either side of the proposed crossing in contour survey plans so you can go for a survey of india where you will get these contour survey plans so 100 meter for catchment area less than 3 square kilometer 300 meter so as catchment area increases this scale of that uh, span, that survey plan is also increases then topographical map so this again you can go for aerial survey may have to be provided from survey of india so topographical map is also essential catchment area map geological map which can you can get from state geological department then types of spans so you can uh, what is single span is it is single span located here uh, hinge support and roller support then simply supported with multi spans so this this one slab is simply supported over here hinge and roller another one hinge and roller another one at hinge and roller so these are simply supported but multi spans and this is continuous then slab bridge generally slab bridge is constructed for spans less than 12 meter you can have you can look here cross section carriage and slab then t beam bridge this is uh, generally casted for 12 to 24 meter and the cross section is here you can look t beam cross beam carriage way depth of this t beam 1200 to 1800 meter that is deep beams these are and slab on girder bridge so these are the girders and a slab about that then box girder so mostly used this type of bridges for construction of flyovers or other bridges in this our uh, sites that is uh, in india which are box girders pre-stressed then steel i-beam bridge so here steel are beams provided below and above that carriageways located then standard specifications for that you can refer these are IRC 5, IRC 6, IRC 78, IRC 83 for all the design of bridge then loadings on the bridge so we'll have in detailed look in the next uh, our lecture so this is generally permanent transient that's temporary and gravity loads or lateral loads here we end with our first unit and we'll continue this quick review of second unit also and then we'll cover the last unit of bridge bearing remaining uh, in the next few lectures. So be alert. Thank you.